Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We're still in, of course, Night City as we're, uh, well, going to head into our first job for Dexter Deshaun, if I recall his name correctly. And for that we have actually two missions that we need to do. We need to steal a flat hat, I think it's called, a uh, mech from, uh, yeah, wherever it, it, we need to get it from. And we also need to get information from a particular woman from Lizzie's bar. We need to go there between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. So while we'll be heading over there right now, um, I could actually use my car to get there probably. Is that the button? Ah, there it is. It just teleports to you. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Uh, and okay, Square is getting in. And now we got fancy music. Forwards, backwards, and here we go. Yeah, can I can I get out? Can, can I can I get out? How do I get out of the car? <laughs> so I'm standing still. It's not the square button. Is it the circle? Oh, holding circle. Okay. That's weird that there's a different button for getting in and getting out. Okay, so now Lizzie's bar is closed, but I know we can actually wait. And that time pass. I'm not exactly sure. I thought I needed to sit on a bench to do that, but can I talk to this uh, lovely lady? Hello, Mox. Right okay, okay, very, very, very clearly closed. So let's take a look around and see if I can pass the time in between. Aha! There is a skip time uh, option in the menu here. So let's just skip uh, ahead two hours. So 6 p.m. the bar will open. So let's confirm that. And there we go, 6.12. And then now we can open, yeah, there we go. First will come the great reality, what's that? From the Bartmos Collective. Um, let's open, wait, open messages. Is there anything? Oh no, that is everything there is to that message. First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world, but there's nothing else. Okay, let's get into the bar. Hello, Mox, can Hello, I go in? Face. Okay, please don't hit me with that. Uh, brain dance. So I know I know what brain dance is. It's like virtual reality, but better. Um, hmm. I've been here before. Be? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find him in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun. Okay, I'm guessing they're shiny because of their armor since they're bouncers. Should make sense that they're shiny because of that. Because, yeah, her skin looks a lot normal. A lot more normal. Ma, so, we're in a safe area. Oh, thank you. Okay, what? Okay, that escalated quickly. So, from sweet little face to kiss my tits, bug. Okay, let's just let's just go into the bar. Um, hi, hi. So we've been here before, indeed, when we uh, started out the game. Uh, we were over there with Jackie, and then we got hit in the face. But I can talk to Matteo. Hello. Hi. Get you something. He has some lovely eyes, by the way. Um, I'm looking for a woman called Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Well, v, v a big tipper. Ooh. What is six yin and yangs? I don't know what six yin and yangs is. Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh. Hi there. Hi. She's getting awfully close. Um, Evelyn. are we getting? Ah, we're getting drinks. Um, hi. I knew it nice to meet you. you in. Well, you're more extravagant than I expected it to be. Um tequila <laughs> i could just ignore evelyn and go straight for the tequila why not say hello sooner i wanted to get a good look at you first um hmm. 
So for this option, we're missing one of the stats probably. So, uh, and like what you see. And? Like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured, you'd know. Come on. Okay. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Uh, don't forget your tequila, V. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Uh, I want... Can I have a drink? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Can I... Can I still get my drink? I want my tequila... Okay, never mind. Okay, Evelyn? Nothing's wrong. Wait. Where, where did she... Where did she go? Ah, there she is. Okay, never mind. Uh, I should probably sit down. There we go. Electro sex. That sounds interesting. Nice boots, I'm assuming. Those are very, very high boots. So. Dex had a load to say ah. about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Um, I am the best. There we go. We can pick one of those dialogue options. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex I'm kind of distracted. The job's high risk. And now, definitely. Yeah, definitely distracted. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Uh, I have no idea. What are you writing Dex's bio? Yes. You writing Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet That's he exactly you what I said. Huh. Curious. I didn't see that scene. Um, so uh, I don't know where if there was any fingering involved. Um, I think I skipped that scene. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll okay. go with my gut for now. Uh, fine. Let's talk business. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul, Trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Language. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? I don't know why, but it sounds familiar, and I have a corpo answer for it, so... Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Empress prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Hmm. Apparently not, but Yorinobu has got an army around them, I bet. Yeah, indeed. Top dog like Yorinobu is bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yeah, we're not Yorinobu getting in there. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Yeah, indeed. Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Okay, but is he the target so then? So we're not jumping the corp. 
We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might Ouch. just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Yeah. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Okay. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Um, so... Hmm... Netwatch? Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But them in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So no neutrality then. So why does he keep that relic? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, we did hear a few things about Yorinobu, apparently. Corpo answer, definitely going for. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. Then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Mm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. But you just told us he's a, yeah, a dog with no fangs anymore. He's, yeah, just his father's lap dog. So, well, um, he's maybe think? just got a taste for power. Could indeed. be another power hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one, nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Indeed, so... okay. Okay. What's next? What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. Okay, so we're going into an area <laughs> marked are fuck good to for death. Fondling virtual tits. I understand. Jacking off too in those boxes. Yeah. No. Sorry. It can I'll be a very useful tool. To good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh, no. So, we're basically going to relive her memories. So you know Yorinobu personally, indeed. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's she got close enough. Tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We Bow have an arrangement. Well. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Okay. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm years. ready. Judy? V. This More is characters. Place. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. 
I trust her. But she's a Mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Keep that tongue on a leash. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Alright, um, I'm assuming that's Judy then. Hello. Hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Uh, hi Judy. Hey Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Oh, oh, uh, hi. That was awfully close. I like... Believe me, I've dealt with I think I've bumped into her documents. Six jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So... I like Judy. You drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Well, maybe V has, but I haven't, so... Uh, no, never. Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff, uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. I do hear a hint of a Spanish accent there, so... I'm supposing she is Espanol. Let's get in here. Let's trust all these weird women we've never met and just get strapped into whatever this is going to be. Lizzie's, yeah, we're still in Lizzie's bar. Who is, have we met Lizzie before? Because I feel like I might have forgotten about that. Is she's Evelyn. Or is Evelyn Lizzie? Eva Lizzie. Uh, sure, okay, profile away. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm -hmm. Okay. There goes my vision. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into the <laughs> two screens. It's an eye exam. Oh god. Um am I, <laughs> am I gonna have to do this calibration dance? Was there a flirting option? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. So, I need to get the pain receptor limiters in. So I think this was in the news. This was probably the section where you got an epileptic attack if you were sensitive for this. Get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? Is the music Can't supposed to be this recording? loud? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Um. Okay. What? What did you choose? What did you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. As you get your bearings, then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and three. Whoa! Okay. That was flashy. Plans and then a flash of Nothing white. Wrong. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it. Got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay. okay. So. On you go. No, I'm not in control. So I got a pistol. And I'm gonna go rob a store, I suppose. I am not in control, by the way, so this is just happening. Underground! Wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Okay, so money, thank you. It seems like it's almost over, the file. Did we just get shot? 
I think we just got shot in the face. And we're back to a lovely face. Hi, Judy. Um, that was a lot. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me. Real death hurts much, much more. Not so how? sure about that. You'll be fine. Uh, she knows that because she's the editor of this thing. So this was edited. So the raw data is probably more um, enthusiastic. Okay, uh, we're going back again. And we're back in the criminal. Full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback, can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use okay. the editor console to unpause. Try it. Uh, so Plan play. Soon. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And then Dream I can pause? Hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Sounds try. good. So... Rewind. Get it back to the top. Okay, so let's roll it back all the way to the top, so it's a bit, bit faster. There we go. Now try fast forwarding a bit. And that's of course the other way around. Blah, 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 blah. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. And now we can just restart. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gong gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan. That's actually really cool how this is done because the back of the criminal's mind is black, darker, but he still kind of knows what the contours of the buildings are supposed to be. Like similarly to how I know right now how the back of the room looks like, just because I know what the room looks like, but I don't see it, so it doesn't really have color and. His line of sight does, which is actually a really cool thing. So let's uh, fast forward a little bit. So he's going to touch my face and then we need to go over here. He's going to... Ah, there we go. Uh, no, that's, that's not it. And thank you. Okay, so... Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Okay, so now I can scan this. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, okay. heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, so we have the fan, but I don't see... Oh, so we can even go over there, so... There's a signature over here. Case of Brosef and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors, Cody and uh, Serpent. Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. So then he goes in. Um, there's you can also extra layers in the raw stuff. The rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Okay. Oh, hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gong at the counter. Okay, so let's fast what forward. Money. And then scanning over there, punch. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Okay, so let's move forward. 
So we get the money, he goes and grabs it, and then he goes. There we go. Luck. And we can actually see his assailant over here. Um, see that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. Yeah, it's out of sight. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see oh. the Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Ooh. So let's go back. I should go to the visual. So it's this thing. There we go. And now we can see that it's his buddy. That's the same criminal, right? From his own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Okay, there was actually an audio signature. Oh no, that's that's no. That's the one that we already checked. So that's actually really cool. So uh, let's close this one and get to the one that we're actually here for. And whoop. And we're back. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Jesus. It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. Come on, Lee. There's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Well, that Go was ahead. easy. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Um, you, you can trust T-Buck. T-Buck's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Good Please, point. Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. I mean, everybody's really easy to convince in this game. <laughs> we just say, hey, come on. It's it's not bad. And there we go, T-Bug. Hey, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Yep. Uh, Judy and Evelyn. Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right. See if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good. I'm going in. Did I need to? My request? I didn't give no. you access. Got it. You ready? A millisecond. No. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Ready to brain dance, and here we go again. Another loading screen. It does take a good twenty seconds every time we do this. Gotta find out where your nobles keeping the relic. Okay. So. Let's go through it normally first. Holy crap! Evelyn, she. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay, so. Let's go into editing mode, and there's also something we can scan here. Let's wait. Let's go. Let's go back a bit. I want to see the guy that we passed. There we go. Who's this? Military great cyberware detected. No shit. Extreme danger. Extreme caution advised. So let's move forward just a little bit. A cut of fuckable meat. Do we have a name on this guy? Um, I can go back into playback mode. A smasher? Oh, this is this is Adam Smasher then. Okay, call it. 
um, editing mode. Let's go back into editing mode. There's a few other things we can scan. The alarm system. Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Okay. So we can grab that and then the camera over there, motion sensor camera. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. All right, so that's the security systems, I suppose. Or is there something else that I missed? Doesn't seem like it. I think we got the optionals done. Then let's... Yeah, that was a very weird thing to say. Uh, so if we go further, so she moved and then she turns around. Can we check anything else? There's another camera over here above the screen. But other than that, doesn't seem like there is anything else. Let's move a little bit further and we can start going into the audio over here. Let's scan that conversation. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Indeed. I don't see... I might have missed another piece of security equipment. I'll check that out later. Um, and now we can... We've checked that. Ah, this, this is the thing that we need to scan now. I need a minute. So, so there we go. Let's scan this. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an oh. adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Wait. That was weird. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. I think I was out of we range have of Avalon. I for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docs got to be around here somewhere. Look for them. Um, it still seems like there's supposed to be an audio signal here, but let's switch back to the visual layer. And, ah, we need to scan his data pad when it's turned on, so do we need to go back a bit? Because it is on right now, right? No, that's his phone. So data pad is probably going to be up next. Let's go over here, because I want to I wanna actually see this scene as well. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Okay. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. I think we got it now. Uh, so let's go into editing mode, and this... Is that his data pad? It looks like there's something we should be seeing here, but... I'm not seeing it yet. Ah, there's another camera up here. So let's grab that. And this thing. Ah, an automated turret. Oh, crap. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Okay, so we need to get the get mech to ourselves. be able to do that. Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. That is a cool effect, by the way. Just the way the... The geometry kind of moves around. Let's go back into playback mode. And... Continue with this... Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. 
So wait. Did we pass it? Because I feel like... Wait, let's go back to editing mode. There's still a yellow marker there. And they said that the clues would disappear if you've done everything. She's not looking at the tablet right now. Because this I'm assuming this is the data pad. But other than that, I don't think there is anything. No, because those are the two only things that are uh, attached. So let's just move time a little bit forward. And then we can go back over here and continue where we left off. Nice. So setting the mood. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect alert. thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. What love is. Is he? Wait, he's on He's on the tablet. He's on the tablet. Stop, stop. He's on the tablet. There we go. So now we can scan the data pad. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So Chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easy to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. There's a gun here as well. I can check that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give me the scan on the gun. There we go. Looks like a fancy gun. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Indeed. Um, anything else? Doesn't seem like it. That bar, now that bar has disappeared. So I don't know. I feel like I missed something in that first section. But let's swap over to the thermal layer. Um... So, it needs to be kept cool. So, I'm guessing... Yeah, let's continue to play. We'll probably get a, a pop-up when we start seeing a cold signature. So, he's taking some pills. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of the recording. So, let's go back. So now, there's a lot, of course the screen is hot, but what's this? There's nothing here. Hmm. Seems like we're getting closer. But, wait, 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 wait. So then he gets up, and she follows him over there. Oh, wait, there's something over here. Right, grab the heat sig, matches the spec in the docks. So a hidden heat case. safe. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. All right. There is. Wait. Is there? Is that's probably it, right? So at this point, she notices more ventilation over here, but that's just the fridge. Okay. Okay. And other than that, there's probably nothing useful then. Okay. Got it. Then let's exit. But after that, I can confidently say that brain dances are pretty cool. Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe Thanks, the cash in your data. You were never here. Alright, can I get this thing off of my head? Ah, oh, she's gonna come and do it for me. Hi, Judy. And you thank you. That was nice of you. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device oh, for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. That is nice. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. Man, so we can do that on the fly now. Way. Clever. Speaking All of right. arms way, know what I see looking at you? A whole chick? Corpses. No. A cold shake. Um, we really needed that recording, Judy. Everything's under control. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Okay, so let's get up. That seems to conclude our business here with Judy. We hope we see her again. She's a a funny character. Um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you in a second. Is there stuff I can... Ah, woo. Till next time, I hope. Don't worry. 
Yes. Won't do anything to get you in trouble, but uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with the tag along, like a net runner. No runners, I promise. See ya. Bye, Judy. Oh, that was nice. And I could say goodbye. So let's talk to Evelyn next. There might be some let's stuff walk. around here. Yeah, okay. Let's just follow Evelyn. I don't want to miss anything. So uh, let's follow her and see what she has to say. So now we well, do have the information. Know where the relic is. Um. So yeah, we kind of know what the connection to Yorinobu is. Um. But are you not afraid that they'll tie you to the heist? Because you provided us with the information. Not worried. Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. And she had dealings. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Good point. Um, and you're sure everything's under control? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kanpeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. Punch. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V. I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, actually, what's the point of the golden fingertips? Can you tell me that? No, apparently not. So what now? So, what now? V. Yes, that's Do my this name. job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Um. Um. You want to haze our fixer? You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman, and a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. Mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight. Why would that change anything? So, the problem is, if I go with Evelyn, we're, as, as V says herself, we're a mercenary, so we depend on the work well, that we get from those fixers. Um, we could think about it, but I don't think I would go for it, because we want to stay with our fixers. Even though I really like Evelyn, there's no way we're going to go... Yeah, away from Dex, but I'll think about if it. I agree. There'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. The payout be would finished. be nice. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Yeah. Let me think about it. That's going to mm -hmm. take a hit. Our reputation is going to take called, a hit. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Because if we do that to Dex, no. then every other fixer will you. know that we could uh, fail at that. Um, okay, I could actually just level up. Because I forgot to level up I'm last time as well. Me. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. Calm down. Jesus. Probably going to get a call from Jackie or something like that. Or Dexter, Dexter Deshaun. How things looking, Miss V? Um, got the Compeki recording. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her match. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that chip without that bot. To work then, Miss V. Yeah, because we need the bot to take out the, um... The turret, so what's this? What's an whore diary? What's on whore? Oh, okay, never mind. That's that's one of the programs, the TV programs, right? 
I get my ass on Ziggy's show and right before I walk on stage a fucking hospital somewhere gets shot up. Okay, so he cancels the show. So that's just one of the people here that actually was on that show. And we get a message from Jackie as well. Uh, what's going on? What's the states? Oh, we can answer. Um, met with a client, played me a BD of the place we're supposed to, yeah. Supposed to visit. Um, all right, then we get a message back immediately. Just keep me posted. Fine, fine. Uh, and we can meet with Jackie and then we also need to call Militech Agent Meredith Stell. We could probably do that from our phone. Uh, wait, where did we come from? She's, she's not good. Okay, so let's get out. This place is actually a lot bigger than I thought at first glance. Uh, so let's get out first. And then we'll see what our next options are. Because I think I should probably call that Meredith Stout woman. But... Wait, hey? Did you... The... So there's, there's the Mox. Yeah, she called Judy a Mox as well. So let's read up on that. It's one of those stories that is either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The mocks came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no, no one to make sure street justice was on our side. So we took matters into our own hands. The mocks is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, endless artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand. Today, the Mox is thriving as demonstrated by the booming biz of Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie's is renowned for being arguably the best braindance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gang goons, pop stars and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs that you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang owned and operated, that the Mox are in charge, watching after their own just like the Lizzie of Legend once did. You know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive for the stripper pole, Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls, made sure Eddie's were falling into the pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this fucker, editor's notes, referring to a Tiger Claws gang member, was having too much fun with one of the girls and Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is she deprived the worm of his little tiger ball so quick and nasty it took him two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the claws found out fast and they flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back and, well, you already know the rest. So this is actually a gang of mostly women, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. That is... that was a bit weird. Those low poly models are a bit weird but that's that was a, a nice bit of background information about the mox oh jeez every time that baseball bat pops up um i'm surprised weren't there studs on the baseball bat before come on in that is this are there, nope that, that's a plain old baseball bat now fair enough let's call no let's first upgrade ourselves so two attribute points um so i need to start noticing the values uh, the the icons here so that's reflex i think we need one reflex point so let's get that because we were missing that a little bit and then i think i'm gonna go up in intelligence just to have that uh yeah that hacking level up so we can go up to 20 right now that is Interesting. Is that going to go up as well, depending on our major level? I don't know. Uh, but then, perks. Reduces the required Cyberdeck RAM for quick hacks used on devices by one unit. That sounds pretty good. Or Biosynergy allows RAM to recover during combat, recovers four RAM units every 60 seconds. I haven't used quick hacks during combat yet, but on the other hand, we haven't really seen that much combat just yet either way. So let's just grab weak link and i'm gonna go back and check out the cool perks so dagger dealer allows you to throw knives hold l2 to aim and press r2 to throw so we can actually go for that i feel like so yeah throwing daggers there we go so that's the perks for now how do i use yeah that's my phone so let's do that and then we can call meredith stout stout here Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. 
You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Um, you're in no position to negotiate. Ooh, the corporal answer. Transport fuck ups toxic for you. I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Okay, so now we can actually meet with the Militech agent as well. Should probably do that first. Um, so let's take a look. Ah, there we go. That's much better. Ah, third person camera. Third person camera, way better. This doesn't look like a... Like a road that's been used all that much. Ow! Jesus. Uh, let's get out of the car. And this is... Yeah, Militech. This is probably her. I need to walk slowly, apparently. Hello. Oop. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. Hi. Hi. Hi, lady. Um, correct. That'd be me. Oh, I think we just got punched in the face. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch. Set conditions. Uh, I think she's mad Not at me. Any more for me. Uh, just, just wanna. I wanna. I wanted to select the second option, but nothing happened. Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap. That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions, honestly, forthrightly. Are you here alone? Can I answer this timer? Um, yeah, okay. I can't. I can't select any. Can I go? Come on. I can't select any options. I can't go down. Got guardian angels with fifty caliber snipes aimed at your side. I have no other option here. You don't let me go. Your dogs will have to glue you back together. She's lying. Try that again, and He's it's a big two boy. million volts. Got it. I can't choose dialogue options. You're asleep now. She's definitely worried. Why did I go here? This is Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Um, I can't go down. I can't select another option. Come for, on. for fuck's I sake. That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. You have a shine in your eyes, man. I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Hi. He still holds Her, me. you can let go. Wanna hear what she has to say. Alright, so he was checking whether I was lying or not. Can I... I can't select any other options. So that broke a bit. Um, can I? Okay, I can't pause the game. Can I now? Ah, there we go. That that, that fixed it again. Um, couldn't I talk normally from the start? Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. Language. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Our money? Uh, she's, she's, she's bent out of my point of view. Ooh. Um, I know you spiked the chip. Not the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech. Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. Something goes wrong. I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Okay, Meredith. Um, fine. Sounds solid enough. I okay. shouldn't probably trust these guys, but uh, encrypted shards. Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt the shard. First, either open it through the notification when you acquire it and find it or find it later in the shards tab on the journal. Then select crack security to unlock its secrets. You pay okay. with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, 
And I'll be seeing you real That's a door. That's a door in my face. Oh, I love how they have the drone in the car. Are they gonna... I thought they were gonna hit my car, but apparently... The car is now over there. That doesn't make... I came out of that tunnel. Uh, I can remove the virus from the chip, actually. Um, maybe I should meet with Jackie first, but... Before we do that, I'm gonna take a little break because there, there's been a lot, a lot of things that happens. I'm really digging it now. This is the first time that I'm really engrossed in the stories. The the last few hotfixes they did did improve the graphical quality of the game overall as well. I'm still on PS4 Pro, if you're wondering, but it does look a lot better than it did in the first few episodes. But uh, yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy this. So hope you guys do as well. Let me know in the comment section if you did or if you didn't. And uh, we can talk about the game for it So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Stay nutty.